Hi, I'm Brian Kosky with Wexco Septic Safe Products. Today we're going to install a Filtrol 160. Now before you get started, you need to verify a few things in your installation area. You need to make sure that you have at least 12 inches wide by 18 inches tall to mount the Filtrol for ease of removing the lid for maintenance. The second thing you need to verify is the discharge hose diameter on your washing machine. Most washing machines either have a three quarter inch, a one inch, or inch and a quarter inside diameter discharge hose. The filter all comes standard with a one inch diameter barb fitting to connect to your discharge hose. If you have a three quarter inch or inch and a quarter discharge hose, you'll need to order a separate fitting kit on septicsafe.com in order to install the filter all. The last thing you need to verify is that you have no more than 45 degree angle from the bottom of the filter all to your discharge point in a laundry tub or into your standpipe on the wall. The filter all can be installed either on drywall or concrete walls. If you're installing on drywall, what you want to verify is the stud location. In this installation, the stud is easy to find because we can see the, the gap in the drywall. If you have a totally finished and painted wall where you can't easily identify the stud, you'll need to use a stud finder to find the location of that to mount the filter all bracket securely. Now, if your filter all needs to be mounted in a location where a stud isn't exactly right where the bracket is, you can utilize a piece of plywood to mount the filter all to the plywood and then off center uh, screw to the stud. So the next thing you're going to want to do now that we've identified the stud location is we're going to place the filter all on the wall and mark the top approximately where you want to install the bracket. Then we're going to take the filter all canister out of the bracket and secure it up with wood screws onto the stud. The next step is to take the filter all canister out of the box, remove the lid, take the filter bag out, and access the fittings that come with the filter all in the bag, supplied bag. If you have trouble getting the filter all lid off, there are two slots on the side of the filter all where you can fit a screwdriver in to pry the lid up open. Then we're going to install Teflon tape on the barb 90 on the lid. And then you'll just want to tighten it down hand tight so that we don't break any fittings. And then the straight barbed fitting goes in the bottom of the canister. Just tighten it hand tight. Now that we have the barbed fittings installed, we're going to go ahead and put the filter bag back in the filter all canister and put the lid on. And then we're going to go ahead and install it in the wall mount bracket. go ahead and place the lid clips on to hold it in place. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the discharge hose. What you'll want to do is use place the supplied stainless steel pipe clamps over the hose. Firmly push the discharge hose onto the barbed fitting. And then tighten down the stainless steel clamp over the barbed fitting. Go ahead and firmly push up the discharge hose onto the fitting. And we'll go ahead and tighten up the hose clamp.
Now that the filter all is installed, we need to go ahead and test the hoses and fittings for leaks. So we're going to fill up the washing machine, run a drain cycle, and watch to make sure there aren't any leaks on the fittings or hoses. It appears as though our filter all doesn't have any leaks. If you happen to notice leaks on your filter all when you test it, you're going to want to verify the, the thread connections on the top and bottom to make sure the Teflon tape is on there and that they're tightened down properly. You're also going to want to double check the discharge hose connection to make sure the hose clamp is tight enough. Or if it is leaking, we do supply a small piece of plumber's putty that you can place on the barb fitting in case the corrugated hose is not sealing down tight enough. Well that about does it. If you have any other additional questions, go ahead and refer to the manual or feel free to give us a call. Thank you for watching.